Cutting cocoa for beans out of the ports is not an easy task. Many farmers spend days and weeks breaking their backs to get the beans for drying. That time could have been invested in other equally demanding tasks. At Tutuka, a small community in the Shitifi North District of the Bonohavu region, Isifu Dauda has been cultivating cocoa for the past 27 years. He narrates his ordeal during his last harvest as he hired extra labor to help break his ports. Cocoa no bono. Eya juma bia edin. Sanse se cocoa no doso. In breaking my cocoa ports, I either hire people or use friends and family. It's time for the job. I needed the help of about 30 people to break my ports. Na wabo. Na it be edi bre bre se cocoa no doso. If Todd Dakra Mima Hai, a Drubia, Nipa Bess, a Jasanity, a Boyama, yes, I am to me, a stressful, a dear young son, yes, I bet also. It he a how say, Oo, Yinima, Kuma, Kuma, Conti, Nibono, a Jumacasipa. He is aging and has developed weak limbs, so in the future, he would rely entirely on farm hands. But there is an innovation that will make breaking ports easy. Cocoa Boy, a team in this year's final of the Cosmos Innovation Center's Agritech Challenge, has devised an automated cocoa pot splitter. The prototype, dubbed the Aboe Master, according to the team, will make the task of getting cocoa beans less burdensome. Cocoa Boy basically started with one, one of our team, who is a cocoa farmer himself. Um, he told us about the stress and the plight that he goes through when it's during the major cocoa season. There are lots of cocoa pods that are being harvested and it, they need about um, six or seven people to break like a ton of cocoa. Hearing this and then going to the field, um, Mumuni in the western region and then Asim Fosu, the cocoa growing areas, we went to witness ourselves the struggles that cocoa farmers are going through. The chief farmer have to pay people to do this, um, little children have to job from school in order to help break this pot. So looking at all this stress and all these challenges that the farmers are going through before breaking all this, we sat down and decided to come out with a mechanized something to help ease all this burden. The cocoa pots are placed on a beam and a machine wheels them to two blades strategically placed at the end to perfectly cut the cocoa pot without cutting the beams. The Aboya Master is basically made of um, two conveyors with loaders attached to it. Um, two blades, one at the top and one at the base. And um, the pots are loaded on the conveyor with the motor running. It pushes the pot underneath the blade and then the blade slices through the pot to cut it open, which then goes to another part that helps in the removal of the beam from the pot. And the blade is made in such a way that there's one, at one on top and one beneath. And um, the diameter of the blade has been done in such a way that it doesn't touch the bean itself. It just cuts through the thickness of the pot without damaging the bean. According to innovators, the machine splits a ton of cocoa in an hour. After developing the Aboye Master and then running a series of tests, we are very certain that within an hour, we'll be able to break 1,000 pots with no defect. That the efficiency is about 97 or 99%. We're going to break 1,000 pots and we are working on increasing that efficiency to like 2,000 or 2 tons than R. Cocoa farmers like Isifu believes such innovations could ease their plight. Hey, I because me you say, and no be quantum as they say, with the help of the post machine, the breaking process will be faster. You say, machine, they are a bit me a quantum amay. The Cocoa Aboye team says the innovation will help farmers to extract beans and boost mass cocoa production. Henry Kwesi Bedus reports for Joy News.